For some people, Double Special has always been something either too scary to run or too hard to make work on paper. The risk of running out of ammo in a higher end activity outweighs the benefits of being able to delete everything on site. After the drop rates were gutted in Witch Queen and Kinetic Special Weapons lost their damage buff, why would people still consider it an option anyway? Rocket sidearms and a few mods and abilities have made this still incredibly viable even with reduced ammo drops. Rocket sidearms have been quite useful since the introduction of things like Indebted Kindness, the first rocket sidearm that we ever got and it rolled with things like Lead from Gold and Bolt Shot, which is already great for high end content. Even without a damage perk or an ad clear perk, the sidearms just chunk things like orange bars and nuke red bars. This is even better since we just recently got a strand one and one with incandescent that can be crafted and therefore enhanced for extra scorch stacks. No longer will you have to argue with your fire team about running Zowlies or the Lightfall hand cannon, which they almost cut for some reason, which is just another fantastic part of that lovely expansion. I already sang the praises of rocket sidearms enough on Tuesday though, and I'm not going to get into that again. If you guys want to hear more about them, go watch that video. Some mods worth mentioning for all double special builds would include includes special finisher, scavs, and finders, as well as reserve mods, which are getting a buff soon. Additionally, lead from gold is a great perk to run on one or both of your special weapons if possible, due to then only needing to run heavy ammo finder mods instead of special ammo finder mods and or heavy ammo finder mods. Matching one of your special weapon element types to your heavy is beneficial as well for scav mods and surge mods. Currently, special ammo bricks can take up to two and a half minutes to drop, and heavy ammo bricks can take five to eight minutes to drop on a timer. This chance builds in likelihood over time, and this is without mods and finders or whatnot. I got most of my information about special ammo drop rates and running double special from videos by people like Prelapse and Aegis, and I just wanted to mention that real quick. I've got links to the videos that I referenced in the description below. I was recently grinding some of the seasonal activity on Expert to try and get my last red border side arm so I can actually use Enhanced Incandescent, but figured I'd test some stuff out while I was in there. I've been running Whisper of the Worm since we have Anti-Barrier Sniper and most bosses are Hydras, along with having Sniper's Meditation just being really nice, but throughout nearly 10 runs I altered my loadout a bit and swapped between things like Riptide and Deliverance or Tusk of the Boar or The Call in the top slot, and then things like Forbearance, Aberrant Action, Indebted Kindness in the Energy slot. However, halfway through this I realized that Arc and Solar Surge was on, and remembered that using abilities makes Double Special even more free, so I swapped to Prismatic World and put on Helion, Bleak Watcher, and Getaway Artist, so I could have three additional fire team members helping me out. I was able to use Stasis Turrets for overloads, as well as Helion for just nuking red bars I didn't even need to pay attention to. The Arc Soul was also helpful, but it was definitely less noticeable than Helion. That could just be because of the artifact mod that we got this season. Solar Fulmination is great, your ignitions do increased damage in an increased radius. This is great if you're on Solar Warlock or Prismatic Warlock. It's great if you're running Aberrant Action with Enhanced Incandescent, because you're already getting those extra Scorch Stacks. If you throw on Fragments that make it so you get even more Scorch Stacks, and so your ignitions have an increased radius, it stacks with this, and it's beautiful. You can also run something like Radiant Orbs, which means you have an extra fragment slot since you probably won't need to run the Radiant Melee thing. Now, if I was running low on special ammo, say like one to one and a half mags of Riptide left, I would just hold Whisper and let my three buddies put in some work. This always seemed to yield at least one special ammo brick before my Arc Solar Helion ran down. I also had Amplified and Galvanized Armor from the Seasonal Artifact to make it easier to just run in and grab bricks without any issues. Another loadout that I tried and surprisingly enjoyed only because it's not a Master Raid or anything like that was Thunderlord for Overloads and even a bit of ad clear here and there, and then Indebted Kindness and Supremacy. This allowed me to use Supremacy for boss damage since it already had nearly unlimited ammo and Anti-Barrier Sniper and Sniper's Meditation are just great with it. I could also use my heavy weapon significantly more freely with this and really was using that as a primary sometimes. Now, using Indebted Kindness with Lead from Gold while also being able to run the same scabs for my heavy and energy weapons was incredibly useful. You can also easily swap Supremacy for Izanaki's Burden and Thunderlord for something like Commemoration, Hammerhead, or Fixed Odds, and if you like Still Hunt, you could do that with Fixed Odds and the Call with Lead from Gold. Now, there really wasn't a single run where I didn't get the most kills, I had all champion types covered even though Unstop wasn't necessary, and I never ran out of ammo in any of my weapons once. For Master Raid, I'd recommend using Supremacy or Whisper or Izzy and a Rocket with a Rocket Sidearm. Realistically, you could probably get away with, no pun intended, uh, with this on Solar Warlock without getaway artists, and with Song of Flame and Sunbracers if there's enough ads. Has any of this made you guys consider wanting to try Double Special? If you already use Double Special, is this a build you'd consider trying out? It's definitely fun, and I run Double Special in most activities, but this just made it a lot easier. I never had to worry about ammo or anything like that at all. Let me know down in the comments below. Later.